barista system. And the secret here is that it can use Nespresso pods, the standard Nespresso pods. And it has a lot in common with the Dual Brew Pro that's going to be able to use the K-Pods or the Keurig K-Pods. Now, let's talk about what makes this special is that you get a lot for value here. The Ninja Espresso and Coffee System's main feature is that it comes with the Barista Plus technology. So that is a 19 bar high pressure system, which creates a cafe quality espresso with a smooth crema. And that's just utilizing a Nespresso pod. And that it means that you don't have to get a separate Nespresso system in order to enjoy a cup of espresso, or you want to make a cappuccino with your froth milk, or you want to make another one of your favorite coffee-based drinks. Now, it also will come with a milk frother that is going to be a stowaway, and it can maintain its temperature up to four hours because you have three temperature settings for the heating plate that's going to be underneath your coffee pot. So if you brew that cup and it's super hot at 7 a.m., it will also be able to be stay super hot until 9 a.m., 10 a.m., even 11 a.m. Other things that are inside of this system is that it's going to be able to make three different styles of coffee, classic, rich, and over ice. If you're wondering why does this not have a specialty coffee feature here, it is that this is actually going to be using the Nespresso pods. So for Espresso, since it has that feature, it doesn't necessarily need to have that specialty coffee mode. Additional features is that it can go from nine sizes for your cup. So you can go from small cup, cup, XL cup, travel, XL travel, one half carif, uh, one quarter carif, one half carif, uh, three fourth carif, and a 12 cup carif. Let's take it out of the box to show you what you get because I want to show you that the quality, the build quality of the Ninja is very good, but also the innovation and the space saving features is what separates it from the rest of the pack. So let's take it out and let's see what we get. When you take it out of the box, it basically comes as one big piece and all you gotta do is take off the wrap. The key features here are that you have the top opening to give you access to the ground beans and the ground bean container. That's easy. And it has the multi-stream technology or multi-jet technology. Here is where you're gonna pop in your pod. It also has a storage area for your pods that is gonna be built in here. There's an adjustable tray. So that's an adjustable tray that can pop in and out. If I wanted to keep it up here, I can lock it in, have a single ounce espresso, and then we can just increase our cup size as well as move our tray up and down. If I'm looking at the reservoir, the reservoir is going to look as such. You can see that all of the different sizes are written out on the container. This will just fit right in and it has this, it has a very seamless design to it with no gaps. And here is going to be your milk frother. You need to hold down the button while you use it. And this will just twist on and lock itself in. And if you just hold, you just add in your milk and it will froth all on its own. We're using a reusable filter. Just want it to work and brew your ground coffee. Press that. You have it on classic. We're on classic. We can switch that to rich over ice. Classic rich. We're going to put it on rich. On rich, the biggest size is 47. If you have over ice or on classic, it can go to 55. Rich is 47. So we're going to do it on classic. We're going to do a half pot, just about a half. And Let's get brewing. You just press that. Don't touch it, it's hot. It's very hot. And that's how the sprout works. It drips into the little sprout, into the straw, and down, down the straw. So we sped up the video 20x just so you can see how quickly the coffee is going to brew. It took about five minutes total for a half pot to brew. Now that's about 33 ounces here. The coffee itself was rich and dark. Our half pot is finished. This is what it looks like. We're going to pour some out for you. What it looks like. Next up, we are going to be brewing these, which are Starbucks Espresso Roast Nespresso Pods. 
And these pods are going to fit inside of here in your espresso coffee barista system. It's also cool how after your pod is brewed, it's just going to go into the waste tank that's built below. Over ice or espresso. So we are going to do espresso. All you have to do once you pop in your pod, you have that, is just press the start brew. And it will brew. You can see how easy work that 19 bars of pressure makes a beautiful smooth espresso very quickly at that, very quickly. And can I just say how good Nespresso pods are sometimes? This is as close to a manually made espresso that I can get to without having to actually make the espresso myself. The frother is pretty quiet, all you gotta do is keep it inside and then you're going to start frothing as you pull out that electrical wand and bring it closer to the top. So this is what your frothy milk should look like. Now we're just going to pour some into our coffee and into our espresso. I'm going to do a taste test on both because they both came out really We're going to do a delicious. temperature check. So this is 180 degrees, 180 degrees here. Our beautiful cups came out. With that, thanks for watching everybody. This is our Ninja Espresso Coffee Barista System. I really enjoy using it and the Nespresso Pods is a godsend for people who are just not wanting to make their own espressos as well as save some time in the morning or afternoon or whenever you need your caffeine booster shot. So with that, thanks for watching everybody. I'll catch you next time. This is David with The French Glow and if you got any questions, leave them in the comment box below and, and, and please hit that like or subscribe button because it really does help support our channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye, bye, bye.